African countries were honored at the 7th Tokyo International Conference on African Development. The event was attended by several heads of states, including Felix Tshisekedi of the Democratic Republic of Congo, who promoted economic cooperation between his country and Japan. Felix Tshisekedi is the first Congolese head of state to attend the TICAT summit in person. And he's not hiding it. He was in Japan to find support for his economic policy. During bilateral meetings with his counterparts, he met with the business community, in particular with major companies, attending the Japan Africa Forum organized by the Japanese government. Japan left good memories in DR Congo. I'm thinking of the Marshall Bridge, the Avenue de Paulo, which are structures that have remained intact for years, and it continues to do so. The number of business leaders, just to mention a few. The fact that I've been received shows the clear interest that Japan attaches to my country, and I'm proud of it. TICAT countries have opted for a more trade-oriented cooperation between Japan and Africa in order to accelerate the continent's development through businesses, the Japanese Foreign Trade Organization proposed to support African companies in structuring their projects in accordance with Tokyo standards. So far, Africa has been the destination of financial assistance for us. Recently, Japanese investment and business aid inflows in terms of exports to Africa have become the focus of Japanese companies. Nearly 15,000 kilometers from the Japanese capital, the Congolese Investment Promotion Agency in Kinshasa also offers support to local businesses. While Japan calls for more economic cooperation, the ANAPI asks Tokyo to support the DRC on infrastructure issues. Today with Japan, we no longer have access to certain funds under concessional conditions. We hope that we can achieve this. What we are waiting for now is to be able to look at the electricity issue. I'm talking about the Great Inga project. We expect them to participate on the infrastructure issue. When the Japanese people start doing something, their seriousness, their longevity, and there's an assurance that the product is fairly well made. The DRC wants to strengthen its economic relations with Japan at the 7th Tokyo International Conference on African Development. Furthermore, Kinshasa is already benefiting from several opportunities offered in previous TICAD, like here at the Avenue de Poilou in Congolese capital, in terms of vocational training for young people and the organization of response to Ebola virus diseases. Japan's commitment to human security issues, particularly Ebola research, is visible at the Institut de Recherche Biomédicale in Kinshasa. Rapid screening device, protective equipment for researchers. Japanese support extends to Congolese provinces. A whole team from Japan has arrived to be able to prepare the other provinces that are adjacent to the regions currently affected. So we are preparing them in case the epidemic ever comes to these provinces, especially Chopo province. The Japan International Cooperation Agency supports the work of Professor Jean-Jacques Muyembe, the winner of the Hideo Nugoshi Prize, the scientists' commitments also encouraged Tokyo to undertake the modernization of the Institut de Recherche Biomédicale de Kinshasa.